Hi, it's Mama J with Opie's Special Needs English Bulldog Rescue, and this is Zelly. I'm doing this video as a demo um, to show a prospective family how to change Zelly's diaper. Zelly is about one year old. Um, she has a spinal cord defect or spina bifida that results in her being completely incontinent, so she needs to wear a diapering system uh, throughout the day and evening. Currently, Zelly is in size 7 diapers. Um, you won't find size 7 in the stores uh, very often, and this is also a Pampers brand. I haven't found the size in Huggies or other brands unless it's an off brand, uh, but she can wear this size 7. And then this is the last step in diaper sizing, so if for some reason she needed to go to another size, she would wear a good night youth pull up in a size small medium. It's the same size on the box. But she's really at her maximum weight right now, so I don't really look for her to need the pull ups. Uh, but if for some reason you like that style better, uh, you could move to those. Uh, but the Pampers size 7, I just get off Amazon or wherever I can catch a sale online. Also, she needs to use wipes that don't have any fragrance, so they need to be unscented. She's really not requiring any type of diaper cream right now, but if you need some, you can just use children's diaper cream as long as it has some type of zinc in it. Um, but I don't really anticipate you needing any type of cream. You can always use cornstarch powder also in her diaper if you want to, but it's not required, and I haven't been using it while she's been here. So she has a suspender system on. This is called a mitten clip. Um, you can get these online through Amazon or eBay. And then she also has a mitten clip here on the back. The suspenders that she needs to wear is a children's size, uh, which would be about 30 inches or more. Suspenders come infant, children's, and then adults like men or women but she needs a children's size that would be about 30 inches and that's adjustable. Her maximum weight should be around 32 to 33 pounds. So when I change her, I just unclip the top two suspender clips and the bottom and I just undo the diaper and pull it down. She doesn't really have a very dirty diaper right now because I changed her earlier this morning when we first got up. On girl dogs, I tend to slide the diaper under this way so the tabs are going to be up here at the top. I also wipe her well in the back and make sure that you wipe underneath the little stub of her tail because sometimes a little poop or something will get up under there. And I also watch, wash the area that she pees in. You can always use a washcloth, you can put her at a sink or a tub. It's whatever's easiest for you. Then I put the diaper so that the picture part or the number sevens up here at the top and I bring the tabs up to the top. I do this on girls because of where they pee. On boy dogs I reverse it the other way so that the tabs are down here at the bottom where that part of the diaper is more absorbent. But on girls I make the tabs at the top. Then I just kind of fold this back a little bit, use the suspender clips, and I try to clip right on the tab for extra reinforcement. And then I also just bring the suspenders under here and clip on both sides. If for some reason you're ever noticing any type of abrasion from the metal pieces, you can always cover them in gauze and some tape, or you can use some bigger size band-aids and put the pad part of the band-aid right there and wrap it. Of course, that kind of impacts your adjustability, so you'd want to have them adjusted before you did that. I really not had any trouble with her, but just a FYI uh, if you need to know that. You can also put a diaper cover on her. I just didn't bring one in here. Um, but when she's adopted out, I will send a few with her for her new home. So that's it. Zell, can you say bye? 
See, I'm sleepy. I'm ready to pour my morning nap. Thanks.